Hi and welcome to Berwick Mitsubishi. My name's Ben. Today I'm going to run around the 2013 Colios Bose. So today I'd just like to point out a few features about this great, great vehicle. Um, look, I, I used to drive these, a very, very tidy car. So if we can see here, we can see the aggressive lines that the Bose has, um, along with the big Renault chrome uh, badging that really, really stands out. So on the front here, we do have your proximity sensors for the front and the side as well. So as we look down the side of the vehicle, we can see here that there is the actual side, um, side sensor as well that gives you that little bit better clear, um, clearance around the side of the vehicle. Up here, we do have the projector headlamps as well. Um, so those projector headlamps are gonna give you that better light and broad spectrum when you are driving at night. So just stepping around here, we do have your, um, we do have the, the Renault Genuine mags, alloy mags, and we do have brand new tires on that car as well. So stepping up to the side here, we do have the side mirrors and the side indicators. So when you are on, on the road, when you indicate, people can actually see what's happening at any one point. These do have your proximity key. Um, so you've got your proximity entry. Um, going down the side of the vehicle, as you can see, presentation of this car is very, very tidy. There's no marks on it that I can see at all. Um, and we do have the roof racks as well. So you can actually get the roof racks, allows you to go to the beach, put the surfboards and stuff on the back of, and, and go to, to the beach. Stepping around to the rear of the vehicle, as you can see here, the Renault Colios. Um, we do have the proximity sensors at the rear as well. The one thing I really, really do like to point out with this car, and I think that Renault have done very, very well, is what we call the split tailgate. So we have got the ability to be able to put what you need in the, in the car, but then you do have you do have that drop tailgate as well to be able to slide things in to, to make it a bit easier to get stuff in there. Now, this car does have the mat that is not a standard. This is an option. Um, so it does already have the mat in there and we keep them in there. We don't take them out and then make you pay for them again. We keep everything that is in the car, everything stays there. Now, I suppose the biggest thing where the name Bose comes from is the Bose premium sound system that this car does have. So if we just have a look underneath the tire here, so we can see there we've got a, a Bose subwoofer in the car. So clarity of sound in this car is absolutely phenomenal. You will not be disappointed with the sound system that you're gonna have in this car. You do have the visor as well. Now what the best thing about that visor is if you do go to places on the beach or somewhere and you're leaving the car there for long distances, if I pull this down, you can actually see that there is no vision through that at all. Those windows are pretty dark, so the car's already got the window tint done for you as well. Stepping around to the, the, side, the other side, the passenger side of the vehicle, looking down that side, Again, those aggressive lines that I was talking about that Renault do and do very well, you can see that there is that there. Now, safety wise, when we talk safety, the one thing I always like to point out with Renault is they've got the really, really large wide doors. Now those doors are what, so you can see that with, there is side intrusion bars in this vehicle. So any side impact, that's going to protect the driver and the passengers in this vehicle. The other thing I do like to point out is this little rail here. Um, in the event that we, there is an accident, now we don't like to think that we are gonna have an accident, but in the event of an accident, that will actually stop the driver's side door getting jammed behind the passenger side door so that the jaws of life can get in there and pry that open. So that's the side and the, the, that's the outside of this vehicle. Very, very nice car, has been kept very well in a nice white, so it does look really, really, really nice. Okay, so now to the drivetrain of this, this great car. Um, the Renault diesel, now it is a two litre turbo diesel. 
the one thing I'd like to point out about Renault is Renault use their their Formula One technology and they put it into their everyday passenger vehicles. So you do have a Renault two litre turbo diesel putting out a whopping 127 kilowatts with 360 newton meters of torque. So that's quite torquey sort of a motor for a passenger diesel um, car. Now they're seven litres per 100 k's, 65 litre tank, so it's going to get you just shy of a thousand kilometres per tank on this vehicle. The other thing too I would like to point out is Renault were the first people to ever um, patent the turbo. So they were the guys that first invented turbos. So if you're talking technology, like I said, these guys have got it and they've done it and done it very well. Okay, so now into the cabin of the 2013 Colios Bose. Um, so just a few things that I would like to point out with this car and look, these the guys here have got cruise control, speed limiter, um, so there's a fair bit involved inside the vehicle, but I'll run through things as we go. So if we look over here on the right hand side, we have got your, your indicator, uh, you've got your, your controls to adjust your mirrors. The one handy thing that they have done and look, being French, they've um, they do like to make sure that they've they've got very very minimal space on their streets. So you do have the button there that you can actually fold the mirrors in from inside the vehicle, and then fold them back out by just simply clicking it back over to the to the center control. You can just adjust it like a joystick. Um, so we do have here as well. Um, you've got your controls, your four controls for your windows. Now, indicators and wipers are a little different to what you would see on a Japanese vehicle. So we've got indicators here being European over on the left hand side and we've got your wipers over on the right hand side. Plus then you've got a control here for the back window as well. These four buttons that we can see here, we can see that there's a plus minus and then there's an R and an O, okay? Those, that what that does is correlates with your cruise control and a speed limiter. Now they are two separate, two different things, okay? Speed limiter is there to set the speed limit so you can't go over it. The cruise control is there to hold you at that. Now the way that we use our cruise control and speed limiter, if we were to press that forward, that is your cruise control button. That back to the middle turns it all off and then that back down to the to the bottom will set your speed limiter. Now, the way we set it, so we're on speed limit at the moment, so we adjust that. Now, 30 kilometers is the minimum, okay? So you can't go any further, any lower than 30 Ks, but you just push that up, which goes up in two kilometer, two kilometer per hour increments. And if we see up here on the dash, you can see there it actually shows up exactly what speed you're setting it to. So we set that to, 50, so that's the speed limit of the street. We then press over here on the O, which then sets it as memorized. So that is a memorized speed limit now for us. So at any one point, you can set drive to, to 50 and the car won't physically let you go over it. You'll feel that it, it labors when it gets to 50. Now, as a safety feature that Renault have, have done, what they've done is gone, okay, 50 kilometers, that's the speed limit. In the case that you, in the event that you need to go over that speed limit, all you need to do is basically accelerate heavily, which then will allow you to go over that speed limit. The car will then start to beep at you. Once you drop back below the 50 Ks again, it will then be set again back to your speed limit. Or you could simply just turn the button off and it will be, that will be gone. Same with the cruise control. When you go to cruise control, you get up to the speed limit that you want, you press the plus button, which then sets it. Or if you have been preset to a speed, you just press the R, which then resets it and allows you, it will travel through at your, at, um, on, on the cruise control. Now, going over to the infotainment system that these guys have got. So you've got the screen up here, which is all touchscreen. So you can see there we have got navigation and we do have, we can go in and set it. Very, very simple setup to use as well. 
So you can just simply go in and say the postcode that we want. So we'll just say that we're looking for Melbourne. So Melbourne, Victoria. And then it's going to ask you for a street name. You put your street name in and it will it will go through to, to that. Very, very simple and easy to use. The other good thing as well is what you see up on the dash here, you can see that you've got a correlating um, dashboard. So this little board actually works off what you're looking at there. So you can see there that it's got the arrow, it's got a home button, which goes back to what we were looking at, plus the, the, the plus button as well. So you can remove or you can switch off screen and you've got the toggle. So that'll allow you to toggle through what you are looking at. We do have the map, so we can bring up the whole map on the screen. We do have the telephone function as well, so you can pair your Bluetooth through here. Now this will allow you to pair five phones to this at any one point. You've got dark, so if you were driving at night and it was very bright, you can actually turn that, that down. So let me just go back here so we can see there it's gone dark and then it brings it back up to normal. So if that light was really affecting you on the on the drive at night, you can adjust that on the fly and make, make that happen straight away. Plus then we've got menu. So we can then go back into menu, which has got navigation, multimedia, your phone and services as well. So there is actually services with this you can go into and get set up when you buy the car. Um, you can go into the Renault site, you can actually say that you've purchased this vehicle and you can set apps up through the system as well. So you've got navigation services, there's settings and then there's user profile. So you can set up a, a user profile. You can set up emails through here as well and the R-Link store. So you can buy apps through this. If we look beside that, we have got the electronic park brake system as well. So when we actually put it into drive and we go to take off, we can actually see there that the park brake will automatically turn off. And then as soon as we turn the car off, we then notice that the park brake comes back on. So what that does is you never actually forget or have to worry about the park brake system because it does it automatically for you. Uh, so as we look here as well, we've got your CD player, but we do have your dual zone climate control. Now the dual zone climate control, the dual zone climate control, you do have your low, you can adjust your temperatures for the driver and the passenger to give you that comfort. So some people like it really cold on one side and some like it really hot on the other. This system will give you that ability to be able to do, do so. You do have the auto dual as well which will then set the temperature and adjust the temperatures for both sides to, to get the optimum temperature as quickly as possible. Going down again over onto the, to the Bluetooth CD player, very, very simple, um, easy to use. You've got volume, you've got your controls and you've got your preset functions. Um, and then you've got your, your 12 volt system as well. Other thing with this car as well, it is the it does have your Bluetooth. So if we have a look here, we have got our um, our slimline key, proximity key. Now the best thing about this is you can actually put this straight into your wallet. It will fit in like a key card, so it can be sitting in your wallet at any one time, and you're not worrying about losing it. A lot of people say, "Where's the key?" Now there's a little button, if we just look here, there's a little grey button. If, if we press that grey button, will allow you, it does have the key. Now on the driver's side, on the outside, it does have a spot where you can actually insert the key. If the battery was flat on the car and you do need to get access into the car, that's how you get into the vehicle. So going across now, we do have the service history on this vehicle. So we have got the full service history that's been done on kilometers. So we've got up until 46,000 Ks. Now this car's only done 48,000 Ks. So very, very low kilometers for this great diesel vehicle. Overall interior wise, 
as you can see the nice massive big dash we can see up here we've got the the Bose logo now like I said sound system wise in this vehicle the sound system very very crisp very very clear sound as well and there we have it the walk around of this 2013 Colios Bose for any more information or a test drive today please contact us on 9907 555 thank you